Hey everyone, welcome back to X Media X. Today I'm doing a very special nail art tutorial for Alice from One Nail to Rule Them All, and we're going to show you how to create tortoiseshell nails. So I've just started off by prepping my nails as usual, pushing the cuticles back, filing all to one length, and uh, buffing with a white block before putting on a base coat of Jury Rejuve Coat, which is my favourite base coat. Um, for keeping those nails nice and strong. It's also good for repairing them if you've maybe had false nails on before. It's great. Um, I normally get mine from Amazon. And then I'm doing a base coat, a base colour, which is China Glaze Call of the Wild and it's a beautiful deep dark brown colour um, and I love it. And I'm popping that on all of my fingers and my thumb but I'm avoiding my pointer finger because for that one we're going to pop um, some glitter polish on there. Those of you who watched some of my other tutorials will know I love a glitter accent nail. And this one is called Countess. It's from the Barry M Textured Nail Paint range. It's like a lovely, it's like a liquid sand effect from OPI. Um, and they've got chunky glittery pieces. This is kind of like a dark purple, browny, bronzy colour. Um, and I just think it goes really well with uh, Call of the Wild from China Glaze and the rest of the look that we're going to do here. But of course, you can use any kind of glitter that you'd like. So I'm just going over them again to create two layers of each. So we've got a nice solid colour on there. So now we're going to do the uh, tortoiseshell design on our ring finger and all you're going to need is some cling film and a lighter brown colour. So just paint over the dark brown colour on your ring finger that we've just put on there with your lighter brown colour. Make sure the base underneath the dark brown is, is nice and dry to be able to do this. And then you just take your screwed up cling film and gently press it into the light brown polish um, just to take off some of the colour and reveal the dark brown underneath and just keep pressing gently until you can start to see it coming through there you go now that looks really nice on its own but we're going to add another dimension to this and I'm going to use my OPI uh, Don't Pretzel My Buttons which is a gorgeous kind of um, mannequin hands colour I'm just going to dot that all over the nail and also dot some more of that uh, light brown colour over the top of there which is, I have it in front of me here Mahogany Magic also by China Glaze now you can see I've just dotted those on there together and I'm using the cling film again just to pick up some of that colour and kind of create that tortoiseshell effect. It's a really pretty effect. You could do it with um, kind of greens and browns as well uh, to create kind of like a camo effect if you wanted to. Now I'm just going to clean it up around the edges of my nails now. With the Barry M uh, Nail Art Corrector, I love this stuff. Again, you can just use a cotton wool bud dipped in nail polish remover, but I just find this so easy to use. And obviously this nail is going to be quite messy, so we just want to clean up the edges. Now I'm going to add some studs just to finish this look off. I got mine from Born Pretty Store and I'm using some little square ones. Just some plain clear polish and a dotting tool uh, to place them onto the nails, but you could also use a pin or a bobby pin, whatever you like. Just literally pop the clear polish over your nail where you want to place the studs. Put up a little bit on the end of your dotting tool and then use that to pick up the stud and press it into the nail. Now for this I'm going to pop three um, square studs up the centre of the accent ring finger and then one little square stud on the others and also my thumb as well which you can't see it hiding. And then I'm going to finish off with a uh, top coat of Sachet V because it's my absolute favourite and it really does seal everything in and give it a super glossy shine. And that guys is pretty much it. It's such an easy nail look to do and you could do the tortoiseshell effect on all of your nails, whatever you wanted to do, just have fun with it. So there you go guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a giant thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget if you want to check out the full blog post, I will leave a link below. And of course, if you'd like to watch some of my other nail art videos, you can click the boxes above or in the info bar below if you're watching on a mobile. But that's about it for now guys. So thanks very much for watching and thank you so much to Alice for having me on her lovely blog.